Good day, happy traveler. Seven Continents Travel Agency here today talking about celebrity cruises at the port of call of Florence, Pisa. So if you're watching this, you are already booked on a celebrity cruise and you want to see what shore excursions are available or you're thinking about booking a celebrity cruise and it stops in Florence, Pisa and you want to see what shore excursions are available. So in this video, we'll show you the price, kind of what's hot, any limitations, the departure time, the duration. I'll show you all the important notes, details. You can use the pause button to read them at length, but otherwise this will be a summary of such. And at the end of this video will be details about how to contact me. I am a travel agent, but that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to show you what's available because as far as I can tell, you can't see what shore excursions are available in, well, uh, any destination for Royal Caribbean or Celebrity. You got to book it, then you can see it. I'm on the June 8th through the 18th cruise, so I will show you what I see here. Uh, on this page, on the shore excursion page, uh, you will see a couple things of note. Uh, one that sticks out is, a hey, 15% off, 5% off. Uh, Royal Caribbean and Celebrity uh, offer... Yeah, I get emails all the time, up to 30% off. I have not yet seen a 30% off, but I've seen 0, 5, 10, 20, uh, up to 20. Uh, I think I saw 25 once, but it's common to see you know this just to, to draw you in. The other thing of note is one spot left, and we're recording this in early November uh, 2023. I'm looking at a cruise about seven months out, and you can see one spot left. Six spots left, six spots left, and some handicap accessible. If you are looking for a mobility-friendly cruise, you shouldn't wait on those. Those tend to sell out fast, but you'll see that there's uh, a lot of these are hot, all right? And then one of these is even sold out. So if you're on a uh, this cruise or a different cruise, you may want to take a look at the availability. And while you may not want to drop, you know, I don't know, $1,000 on an excursion today, if it's an excursion you won't really want to do, want to ensure that you do it, uh, then it might be worth the investment. But nevertheless, let's hop into it here. The first excursion is a small group. So you're going to have, if it's say in small group, that means the ratio of you to the uh, tour guide is a, a lot smaller. So it's 154 for an adult, 138 for kids. Five hours and 45 minutes is the duration. It leaves at 9.15. Those notes are on the right-hand side. And I will not read the overview. Uh, I'll give you some cliff notes, if you will. But leverage that pause button if this is a, uh, a stop that you're thinking of making. But it gives you the highlights, some important details. Uh, sometimes it'll talk about uh, you know, steps, uh, strenuous, the uh, walking distance. Uh, so it'll give you some of that. So the next one is a small group. Over here uh, at the Renaissance Vacation in Florence, $3.29 for an adult, about $30 cheaper for kids. 10 hours, leaves at 7.35 in the morning. Rise and shine, get on that bus, go see some sights, and you will see some of the details that are lifted here, uh, listed here on the left. Again, leverage that pause button. If you want to visit Palazzo PD, uh, well, that, there you'll, you'll see some paintings. Uh, the, here, here's some of the details. Walk some... Uh, one and a half miles, uneven cobblestones, 10 to 15 steps, some just standing. So if this is stuff that you're interested in doing or have concerns about doing, uh, you'll make your decision accordingly. What about a Tuscan farmhouse experience? Looks like there's some wine there. 131 for adult, 117 for the kids. I guess the, the value of the wine is $14 because kids, well, my kids don't drink wine. Four and a half hours leaves at 130. So this is a good one if you're like, hey, I really want to sleep in. I don't want to wake up up and at them. Uh, then this is for you. You can sit and taste white and red wines. And again, be mindful of your kids uh, as they watch you sip away. <laughs> Destination highlights Florence fashion and gourmet. So if you're looking more of a, a cultural experience versus a uh, world UNESCO heritage site experience, nine and a half hours is the duration, 329 for adults. Uh, 296 for kids leaves at 7:45 in the morning and you'll spend your day going out then about seeing the things that are listed there you can lose yourself as listed in the highlights uh, on the left again important details uh, guests require full use of both arms and legs to participate uh, if you have neck back problems uh, you probably shouldn't do this time spent at this particular uh, location might be impacted by traffic. What about a leisurely Florence electric cart? 
151 for adults, 136 for kids, 815 in the morning for nine hours, and you can go and tour the things that need to be seen. And those are the details there. You can have a nice Tuscan meal. I don't even know what I would have. I think I, I, I think I would probably just have to have Tuscan chicken. That's what I get at Olive Garden. So that's uh, uh, here's some a couple accessible options. Six spots left. Five hundred dollars per adult. Four sixty one for kids. Eight hours leaves at nine a.m. And this uh, just ensures that if you need wheelchair access, uh, electric scooter access, this is for you. Uh, maximum weight is five hundred pounds. And you can see the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Other items noted there on the left. And uh, just uh, a quick review that the accessible options do go fast. So if that's uh, something you're looking forward to, I, I would, uh, waiting could result in a sold out. Here's a accessible Florence City Center and uh, Michelangelo's David, six spots left, 573 for adult, 515 for kids. Eight hours, 9 a.m. Maximum weight is 500 pounds, and you can see the sculpture. Get some pictures, get some selfies. Send those selfies to your friends back home in the States. Let them know that you are out having a good time, and they are not enjoying culture presently. If you're looking for a tour of uh, Tuscany in Spanish, Habla Español uh, right there, that's for you. If you're looking for a private journey consultation, these are kind of neat, uh, so you can reserve this. And this gives you the opportunity to consult with the celebrity team to build a customized uh, journey for you. And they, uh, I, I would expect it to cost, uh, man, it's difficult to say, but I, I would imagine 500 bucks per person, but note it's per the transportation unit. Uh, but if you see some of the ones that are like 550, 575, 600 bucks on here, you, you, depending upon what you bill and they'll, they'll, walk through it with you, but you're kind of building, hey, I want to see this in this part of Pisa, and then I want to go to Florence and see this. I would just expect it in my head to be about $600, but it's really dependent upon what it is that you want to see and where you want to go to see it. Uh, Italian beach and pizza. You want a uh, pizza? You want to go to the beach? Oh, it looks like a good beach. It looks all nice and organized. There's pizza there. 176, 158 for kids. 8.45 in the morning, leaves at uh, yeah 8.45 for 8 hours and 15 minutes. You can go see Fiza, go hang out on the beach, get some swimwear, get a tan, put on some sunscreen. And uh, all those details are there on the left. We went by them pretty fast. Pause, rewind, and you can see them as many times as, as you want. What about independent exploration using a hop-on, hop-off bus? 2.50 for an adult, 2.26 for kids, leaves at 7.30, leaves at 8 for 8 hours. And you can see what you want to see. Uh, it's a two-hour bus ride to uh, Florence. And they'll drop you off. And then you can hop on the double-decker bus, see something you want to see, hop off of it. Uh, when you're done seeing what you wanted to see, hop back on another bus. And the bus frequency at each stop is about 30 minutes. And those are the details there for that. Scroll down here a little bit more. Florence sightseeing and a rowboat ride. Now, I've, I've seen a lot of excursions. This will be the rowboat adventure. 129 for an adult, 115 for kids. Nine hours. Leaves at 815. After a long drive to Florence, get on the Armo River and board your Barchetto rowboat. So there you go. Must be able to walk down to the square, get on and off on a boat, uh, get on and off the boat on your own. Meals, snacks, drinks are provided but not, uh, and entrance fees are not included. So you'll pay the 129. Boat ride is about 45 minutes, it says. So there you go. Small group uh, Korea marble tour by Jeep. So get out of the rowboat, hop into a Jeep. 252 for an adult, 227 for a kid. Leaves at 9 a.m. for three and a half hours. And you can go see the sights in a Jeep. Just as the Romans imagined you would. This is not wheelchair accessible. It's a note over there on the left. Other notes are available for you to read at your leisure. Uh, grand Tour of Florence and uh, Pisa there. 284 for an adult. 256 for kids. 10 hours leaves at 730. And you can take a scenic drive through Tuscany countryside. First stop is in Florence. And then there's other things that you will see there. David, Ponte Vecco, and uh, Time to Shop. 
And if you're going to drink wine, you must be legal age, it says right there. What about a taste of Florence? You can see Florence, but what about a little culinary dis uh, delight there? 165 for an adult, 148 for kids, 8 a.m. Uh, for 10 hours, and you will be able to see some sights and then taste some things uh, as well, it says there. And so hopefully you enjoy what there is, unless taste is a... Kind of like a, a, a taste for the eyes. So I don't see too many things about what you're going to eat there, but surely if it's a taste, you're going to taste. You just want to see the stuff, maybe not necessarily go into it, just go go in and see it. 128, four and a half hours leaves at 745, leaves at 130, and they will take you to the Leaning Tower, take a scenic boat ride. So there you go. Those are the details. There are no photographies in the... Anytime you're in an Italian cathedral, probably most cathedrals around the world, but certainly in Italy, uh, pay special attention to the notes. No exposed knees, no shoulders, uh, because uh, you need to cover those up. God does not want to see your shoulders. 165 for an adult, 148 for the highlights and the Luca highlights. Uh, seven and a half hours leaves at 9 a.m. You'll see the things listed here. And a 45-minute guided drive across the countryside. Must be able to walk two and a half miles. And there you go. So that's a little bit about that stop, if you're looking to do that. Uh, what about Explore Florence? 135 for adults, 122 for kids, nine hours, 8.15 in the morning, and you will see some scenic things. The birthplace of the Renaissance is what it's quoted here. See some merchants, buy stuff from merchants. You can tell your friends, hey, I bought this in Florence. They would never believe you. Never. No exposed shoulders or knees in the churches. Want to go see something completely different? What about uh, Portofino, Rapallo, and Santa Margarita? Not Margarita, though. Note the difference. 105 is the adult, 95 for kids. Eight, and a half, uh, eight hours and 45 minutes is your journey, departing at 8 a.m., Enjoy some free time, get some uh, some uh, bread and cheese, <laughs> refreshing soft drink, and that is a opportunity to get some culture there. Uh, and then if you wanted to go see the other villages, what is it, Cinque Terra Villages? Eight and a half hours, it's sold out, so I'm not able to see the departure time. But the, if it's available on your cruise ship and you're really passionate about seeing this, these are the details for that. And as you can tell, like I said, we're, what is it, seven uh, seven months away here, uh, and it's already sold out. So if it's not sold out on your cruise ship, then you will probably want to, uh, well, book it. All right, so this uh, is what you can see here uh, if you are doing short excur excursions in Florence. And if you are looking for a travel agent, I am this guy right here. This is me. SevenContinentsTravelAgency.com is my website. Seven Continents Travel Agency at gmail.com is my email address if you want to reach me. Uh, I'm happy to talk about vacations. Uh, my fee is the ability to talk about vacations. I don't, I don't charge to talk vacations. That's my passion. That's my hobby. Uh, and I uh, hope if you're going to uh, Pisa and Florence, I hope you have a safe vacation. And I'll see you in the next.